Hi, I'm Liam Boyle, and this is my game for the AC31009 game project. When you first open Gladiator, you will be greeted by this main menu. Clicking on the Options button allows you to change lots of uh, different settings, such as the resolution, and you can see here. You can see here that it gets more quality. It's better, and you can also change the sound. So just keep that low. And when you first begin the game, you'll be greeted by an option to enter a name. And this name is persistent, as you can see through here. It sticks with you throughout the, the game. And from this hub menu, you can launch a fight, you can upgrade your character, or you can buy items from the shop. And you can also wander about if you so want to. And when you first launch a fight, you'll be greeted by these sweeping camera angles. And they give you a short amount of time to ready yourself for the fight and the player can pause at any moment click on the options and again change the same options that they had there before and um, the way the fights work is that you have to get close enough to the enemy to attack and deal enough damage so as you can see easily won that fight but that's just the beginning of the game and um, the enemy stats such as health and damage are randomly generated based on your character stats and on top of that the name for each enemy is randomly generated. Also the XP and the gold that you earn is again generated based on the enemy's health and their damage and how hard it was to win the fight. Um, so as you can see here 25 out of 100 now on our XP bar and um, we can go to our upgrades menu and you can see again the name is persistent uh, we are level 5 and we have 5 points to spend on our core stats. So constitution will give you health upgrades, strength will give you damage upgrades and allow you to carry bigger weapons, dexterity, speed and intelligence for abilities. Um, so I will put it there. And you can go to the shop and you can see the different weapons. When you hover over it, it tells you a little bit about the item and the cost and the requirement for skills. Um, you can see here that we can't uh, wear this armor and we also can't afford it and the game tells us this. but we can afford this and we can afford this and you can see our gold please and um, so if we go fight again you'll see we'll deal more damage again the enemy's name is randomly generated And we managed to win again. And you can see we got a different XP amount than we did last time. Um, now cut back. So as you can see, we are one win or one loss away from leveling up. So let's fight again and see that happen. Um, I've upgraded my health quite a lot. So when we attack, you'll see that my damage is quite low. Uh, the enemy damage is quite high just to, to combat this and we won so you can see here we leveled up we can go we can spend our point and we can buy new stuff so let's what well, we bought that let's buy this weapon see our money gets subtracted it tells us where to own it and you can also save and quit and save and takes you back to the main menu and you can then load the game again you can see same money same xp same stats and if we go in and click the right one this time and um, you can see that it tells us we already own the item so the items have saved and save in the plate mail. Um, also if you save and quit you can use the quit button to quit. Um, thank you for watching 